welcome to the World Summit on the Information Society 2016 in Geneva, Switzerland. And I'm delighted to be joined by Lieutenant Colonel Faisal Mohammed Al Shimari, who is the Executive Director of the Smart Government Program in the UAE Ministry of Interior. You have been taking part in some of the panels here, and I understand that, of course, while everybody embraces the fact that the internet is for everyone, there are some drawbacks too. Definitely. Uh, thank you for hosting me, first. Second, uh, the internet is a sort of two, uh, with two edges. Uh, it has the bright side, uh, it has uh, uh, a group of facilita facilitation of government services, and uh, ensuring uh, the happiness of everyone, communication, etc. But at the same time, cybercrime is uh, increasing rapidly and uh, shows the dark side of the internet, where um, law enforcement cannot work alone to cope up with the rapid uh, abuse or exploitation of such uh, uh, technology. Uh, we need to look at um, the cybercrime in general and online sexual exploitation of children specifically as a risk and a challenge. Not only law enforcement should be tackling or addressing. We need um, legislations in some third world countries. They don't have proper legislations to address cyber crime in general. Come to um, uh, details such as uh, child, ex uh, child uh, exploitation images uh, and the position of uh, such material, exchanging um, those uh, images. In some police stations in some countries, there is no computers. And if there was one, it might be offline and not connected to the internet. While uh, individuals and organized crime are using VBNs and using the darknet to exchange such, ma such material. So what can be done about this? Because as you say, cybercrime is getting more sophisticated, but many of these countries don't even have laws or law enforcement. Um, if we look at uh, projects like the Protection Project, um, uh, which is um, led by ECMIC, supported by the International Center of Missing and Exploited Children and Professor Mohammed Mutar. They benchmark 160 or 70 countries uh, uh, in regards to uh, legislation on child protection. We can guide countries and enable them to address their legislations uh, adopting best practices. Uh, coming to ICT companies, some ICT companies are aiming at providing the internet for everyone. Great, but is it enough? Are you tackling cyber crime? Are you addressing potential abuse of children? I wouldn't say we need to flag or raise the awareness of negligence side because they are not addressing this, but they might be liable for that later. They need to cooperate with uh, those countries building up their capacity to fight cyber crime in general and at the same time participate in funding, developing tools to counter such crimes. Uh, this heinous crime of abusing children and exchanging child exploitation material online is increasing. The growth estimated with a ratio of 1,500% in the last years. Some of the um, sad statistics, uh, children online who are under threat was used to be one out of four. Now it's one out of three, so it's growing which means we need to work all jointly together to address this. Awareness is another area. We don't need just to make a self-aware child. It's great, but it's not enough. We need to enhance the communication between the children and their parents. If something goes wrong or someone start, start threatening them online, parents need to have solid ground of communication with their children, transparent communication. And at the same time, legislators, judges, court, they need to understand the consequences of such crime. They need to see what they cannot usually see from their seat. Uh, in addition, we need to look at um, unorthodox ways of uh, awareness uh, using cinema. Cinema, for example, is a very uh, strong uh, industry that can publish awareness in general. There are movies like Trust, which was produced and directed by David Schwimmer in 2010, which talks specifically about uh, the, the, ca the case of a, a girl who was groomed and exploited through the internet and how her family struggled with, the, with, the, with what happened. S showing this can, can ease the message and make people feel 
the struggle and the pain the families can go through and suffer. And the prevention is uh, definitely better than uh, uh, dealing with a crime such as this. And indeed, uh, we've all got to focus on preventing it so that uh, cybercrime is, is controlled, as you say. Lieutenant Colonel Faisal Mohammed Al Shimari, the Executive Director of the Smart Government Program in the UAE Ministry of Interior, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. And please do join us on the ITU YouTube channel where there are many interviews with experts at the WISIS Forum 2016.